is a place I've been coming to for a while. Um, not a lot of people know about it, I don't think, because I never see hardly anyone back here. I know a lot of the locals know about it. Um, just a bunch of big rocks piled in here, and there's a little trail that weaves in and out of them, if you can see. These rocks are big. Um, and then over here, it looks like this one overhangs so much, somebody came over here and uh, took a bunch of logs and stuff, and kind of propped it up here against this rock and it's got a big shelter in it you can go in here and make a fire and camp out if you wanted to pretty sick but my I'm headed to the end of this trail to set up my new hammock tent so out here in the JLU I got my new roof rack on that thing's pretty neat, really tall though, but yeah, no one else has been down this trail since it snowed, so that's pretty cool. Um, there was tracks coming to the beginning of this trail, but they went the opposite direction, and uh, yeah, we're making the first tracks here, so it's kind of tight through here with the with a Jeep, but good place to go back here and camp. At least you know no one's gonna be back here in a camper or nothing real big. As you can see, there's people been scratching on these rocks right here. My Jeep just barely fits through these two rocks here. Yeah, as you can see, I'm the first one to make tracks down through here, so. I'm not gonna stay the night tonight. I'm just gonna throw my tent up. I just wanted to get out here today and pack all my gear in this Jeep and just see how it's gonna do on these gravel roads. See how much body roll I have with no sway bar on, you know, the sway bar disconnected. Yeah, I wanna get out here and just um, get all everything loaded in here and get out here on the trail and just see how it's gonna feel after I get the sway bars disconnected and out here and just see how top heavy that rack's gonna be and honestly you can tell it's up there when the wind hits you going down the highway but as far as extra body roll I'm sure it's there but it's not enough to tell so pretty happy with that Onyx off-road says that I'm getting to the end of this little trail here so I'm gonna shut the camera down because I know it's a little steep turnaround and I'm gonna get a uh, We'll cut back whenever I get there. All right, well, I'm way out here. Got all the way down this hill, man. Pin right at the bottom, nowhere to turn around. There's a tree across the trail. I don't have a saw with me. It sucks. I don't really know. I don't have a snatch block either because I wanted to drag this onto this side and I can't, but I have it broken out of the way where I think I can get past. And then get down and plenty of places to turn around after here but there was no way i was making it back up this hill man i dumped the tires down to eight psi and was going to back up and give it a chance but i decided not to of course the camera's not going to do it any justice but this is a narrow ass this is a super narrow off camber to the woods uh trail with uh slush in it and it's still kind of slick, so I dumped the tires out. I'm gonna get back on this winch duty here. Try to roll this tree out of the way so I can get through here and get turned around. I may have to just manhandle it off here in the ditch. I think I can carry the rest, I don't know. I'm about to take my shoes off and put my boots on. I brought my boots. I'm gonna throw my boots on and try my hardest to get this over here, this over here where I can pass. Um, I already found one of my camp spots up there that I like. It's it's good to go. No snow, it's dry. But I've never been down here and I wanted to come. Get the snow out of my shoes. Um, never been down this way before. Actually, I've never even seen it because I always come back here at night. Uh, hopefully I can get back up out of this hill. I think going uphill where I can, 
I think going uphill will be way better forward than backing out. But I'm gonna work on this tree. Try to get this tree over here to this side, get my gloves on, my boots on. So I'm over and just jogging pants and tennis shoes. And I wasn't expecting this. Uh, I always expect the unexpected. I don't think I'm gonna leave home again and come out here without a saw. If I'd have had a saw, this would have been easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Wasn't that bad anyway, I just broke it with a winch. It was luckily it was up against a tree and I could get take I took cover back behind this rock back here and just let her eat. So let me get off here. Let me get my boots changed. I may not be setting up a tent today. I really wanted to, but this is taking about this is taking me about 30 minutes to get this through. So I'm gonna throw these boots on real quick and um, get me a snack and get this rest of this tree out of the way, man. Alright, I think I got the tree enough out of the way where I can skimmy through here and uh, I'm going to go on to the end of this trail hopefully turn around and try to make it back up this hill. Alright, we made it up. Um, stop to take a little break. I'm going to get me a snack. I found this really cool rock. This thing broke and fell over. How sick is that? Looks like it's about to break again right here and fall this way. Yeah, it broke and fell right over. How cool is that? I got I got up out of that uh, hill no problem. Uh, it was sliding me to the side a little bit, but I dropped the air pressure and we we climbed right up out of there. Um, yeah i don't know where i'm gonna sit my tent up at looks like we're getting weather i just turned my radio on it says uh we're under another winter weather advisory so that kind of sucks so yeah i'm gonna drive back over here to that little that first little turnaround spot i was at uh up behind the air force and i'm gonna hang out there for a little bit and then head home so i don't know if i'm gonna get my tent put up or not that tree ordeal right there uh kind of put me behind but it is what it is so i guess we're getting the winter we're getting weather at nine so i probably should get up out of this hill pretty quick i'm not gonna stay back down here very long i don't know what's coming so says winter weather advisory has been issued uh, starts at nine o'clock tonight ends at six in the morning so that sounds cool but i'm not prepared to stay out here that night like that i didn't even know that was going down if i did i probably would have came out here tonight and uh tried out my new tent in it but that's next time this is basically just a uh rundown of uh like i said the weight and stuff you know i want to see if this thing uh um, how it handles off here with all this weight and stuff in it. Um, I've tried packing this thing as light as I can, and I have, so it don't feel bad. It feels like uh, you got a few people in it and you're off, you know, out, out wheeling. It doesn't feel, doesn't feel too bad, but. Yeah, I'm about to get my my food box out and I'm gonna get me some crackers and some tuna fish and it looks like clouds are rolling in slowly slowly so I'm not gonna stick around here very long uh, probably the family be wondering where I be but I'm gonna get in here and get me a snack let's see here I got deli style tuna I got some Thai chili I got a buffalo one in there yeah, there's buffalo. Buffalo, crackers, spoon. Know what I'm saying? 
Ja. Ja. So yeah, um, I got that, I got that tree out, man. It was, uh, it was kind of crappy down there. And then I got to a hill that was just straight up and down and rutted out. I wanted to climb it, but there's nobody else here. Here, there's nobody else with me, and I'm not gonna go do some do some crazy stuff. But um, I'm gonna slam donkeys, uh, tuna fish, and crackers real quick, and then uh, I'm gonna head back out of here. This ain't gonna be this ain't gonna be much of a video at all, really. It's just mainly uh, follow me around doing some stupid stuff, killing some time. But ooh, we're busting my butt. But yeah, I think we got a couple trees here and here. There's one going that way. Like there's several trees down here we can throw hammocks off of and i'm gonna might amazon another hammock and try to get it here before saturday night i really want to take a couple of the boys that work for me out hammock camping um so i don't know if there's enough room in the jeep for three people and all of our gear but it's not that far from home um, as long as i get some sleeping bags and some blankets or something that'd probably be all right uh, i got all my stuff really but yeah I'm gonna slam dunk these uh, crackers and tuna and uh, I'm gonna get out of here. I probably should eat my snack and head on down the hill, but. So yeah, there's no precipitation coming down yet. Not windy, real calm, so. Yeah, I'm gonna slam dunk these crackers and uh, head on down the trail. Lighting clouds are rolling in, but. I got my crackers ate and I got all my stuff packed up and I'm headed up trail I just took off so I'm gonna go ahead and drive on out of here. I really like this place it's got a lot of big old boulders just strolling around places pretty neat. about whenever you're driving out on the trails by yourself honestly think about Bigfoot a lot I've watched so many documentaries on Bigfoot and yada yada all the all the Les Stroud ones I've watched a lot of stuff big fan of the theory uh, never seen a sighting or anything like that personally but still big fan of the theory of Bigfoot uh, Sasquatch Yeti all that stuff um. All right, I'm back in the parking lot. I'm airing the tires up, man. It was a it was a boring drive down, but it is what it is. Went out, scoped out a few spots, got to try out my winch, got a little hairy situation, kind of an adventure for me a little bit. wasn't planned on that. That was fun. I'm about four psi from wrapping this pump up and hitting the road, so I'm gonna wrap this up. You made it this far, I appreciate you. And I'm about to make another one, I promise you, on mama. And that's it, I'm out. All right, this is day number two. I've been out in my Jeep. Ooh, I just sat in snow and ice. Ooh, it's cold. Ooh wee, it's cold on the rump. <laughs> <laughs>